Lord Jesus, boy, I'd like to put a happy face on this story, but there's just no way around the misery. Here you got Buddy, jigging the cod, fishing through his ice hole, and for reasons known only to God and that cod, Buddy goes through his ice hole. By the times we gets down there, Mr. Wesley Moss is no more. He's floating, belly up, 20 feet from his ice hole, eyes shining up to heaven, face as blue as a gent's pecker after a winter's piss. <laughs> and here comes Mrs. Wesley Moss and them poor, poor children, trying to kiss daddy goodbye through 12 inches of ice. <laughs> Aaron Jesus, boy, it rendered me stupid as well as the others. Couldn't dig him out, the curtain have him. All we could do is stand back and smoke. Well, eventually the women folk talked away to home, but next morning she's back at it again, whoring her gaggle chasing those frozen lips all over the bay. And likely as not, every time they bend over to kiss the daddy, the curtain would get him and off he'd go in another direction. <laughs> Them slipping and sliding after. Why do you know this goes on for a week or so? <laughs> this kissing and slittering. Well, eventually Jimmy George stands up at the town council and he says, boys, 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 we've got to dig that poor bugger out. Up he comes before that poor widow completely spills her pudding. So we get axes and such, and finally, finally, we freed Mr. Wesley Moss from his icy tomb. Mrs. Joanne Farr brought her camera, got a few nice pictures of the widow kissing the frozen head, and the children clamoring all over the body. Someone even hoisted baby Andrew up on top of daddy's head. Click. Well, after the pictures, the widow wants to bring her man to the chapel for the good word. Lacking a better idea, off we goes. The Reverend Father, he met us at the chapel gate. Boys, 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 you can't bring that poor lamb in here. He'll taw and stink up God's holy temple. Which, of course, we all know, but was afraid to say. So we sat there stumped until Happy Day suggested we prop up Wesley at the window, looking in. <laughs> while Father Cayley gave his mass. Now, as luck can sometimes be with you, old Wesley had froze with the arms in the up position. So some bright spark struck a candle in one hand and a Christ and the crucifix in the other. There, Jesus boy was a heavenly sight. Your man there staring through the window and we inside singing his praises. Don't mind telling you, my son, every man jack of us cried like kittens. <laughs> well, after the good word, the widow wants to bring her man home and again we stumped. I mean, what you going to do with a stiff in the middle of winter? Can't bury him. Ground's all froze. But we bring Wesley home and we prop him up at the kitchen window, looking in. <laughs> and every day after that, them children would bring Daddy his cuppa and a snicker of biscuit to go with it. Large his bite would tear a hole in the heart of Satan. But round here we adapts. We're the breed of adapters. Has to. The Lord God did not shine long on this rock. So after about a week or so, we started picking up old Wesley and taking him with us to the Legion. Propped him up outside. Cigarette in the one hand, bottle of black horse in the other. Of course, it wasn't long before the women folk heard of this, and not wanting to be one upped, they started picking up old Wesley and taking him to the bingo. <laughs> Father Kelly kind of liked what old Wesley did for attendance, so he started having him to chapel every Sunday. Come to Christmas pageant, there's the bow Wesley, one of the wise men. About the beginning of February, the city papers get a hold of the Wesley Moss story and it becomes a bit of a tourist attraction. <laughs> Never once to look a gift horse in the mouth, we propped up old Wesley at the population sign. <laughs> Welcome to Bing Spay in the one hand, get stiffed at the Royal Canadian Legion in the other. <laughs> now, we know the fame for Wesley is about to give out around the beginning of May, <laughs> but don't it make you puzzle? Here you got a lander, couldn't carve with a shotgun, not two brains to rub together, but because of his glamorous death, he's a folk hero. And now I hear tell Jimmy George down at the council with a motion to erect a statue. Ha! <laughs> Welcome to Binks Bay. Not in forehead now, but to go get stiffed at the Royal Canadian Legion. <laughs> <laughs>